Morning, folks. How are we doing back here again with Amberlynn Reed? She is back, which means I am also back. Guys, how are you doing? Now, before we get into the video, there's actually one thing I want to say. When she disappeared for a little bit there, and also Foodie really isn't uploading anything but mukbangs, and we know I only cover those on live streams because it'd be boring for actual videos. I, I might, maybe if this ever happens again, because it's Amber, it is guaranteed to happen again at some point when she gets pushback. You know, pushback in regards to, oh God, what is that thing? What's the thing she's going to push back for right now? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, constantly changing her story on uh, molestation stories. That's that's what she is. That's what she's getting pushed back for, and she's refused to engage with it. And instead, she's decided to log off. Fan, fucking tastic, amazing, love it so much. So, in case that ever happens again, um, I don't know, guys. Maybe you stick it in the comment section below. I might do a community tab post. I'm not 100 percent sure. Where I just ask for some recommendations of some oldies, some goldies, ones that you guys think are really funny. Because you both know, you both know my my two viewers out there. I don't know why I say both. I meant to say both, as in Amber and Chantel. But you know, both the two of you guys watching this right now, um, like. I, I, I'm fairly new, especially to Amber. My knowledge is pretty much solely from the Mr. Snowflake documentary. Chantel, I've known off for a, a fair bit longer. Um, around about... Oh, God. Not long before... Not long before she broke up with BB. I think it was not long before she broke up with BB. I knew of her, and I kind of knew bits and pieces throughout. But I've seen some of the, the great moments, like the Cuba Rage and all, but there are other ones I haven't seen. So if there's any ones you think are particularly good moments that I can maybe do, if there's a bit of a drought again, stick it in the comment section below. I might also put up a community tab post to so keep an eye on for that. Uh, just stick in, say, oh, this is really funny, or maybe watch this video by this person. It's a really good compilation. Something like that. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much, guys. But we're just going to get straight into it. It's 12 minutes, 48 seconds. She is back. Let's see if she addresses the drama. I, I, I guarantee it's, it's going to be underwhelming. It's going to be like a, at the end of the video, it's like, oh yeah, people say like I was lying about that. That's so weird. That's wild, guys. I wouldn't do that. And that's probably going to be it. Or she's just not going to address it. So let's go. Hello, hello. hello. I'm actually um, about to go to my 10th therapy appointment. So that means I have two uh, more um, that are just like obligated. But I'm definitely... 10th? <sighs> that's weird. I thought she said in a previous one that she was further along that. Because I, I was sure. Like, because I remember sitting going like, wait... Like, we've gone through this a lot faster. Like, I must have blinked and missed a bunch there. Because, like, I thought she was, like, acting like she was doing her 12th. Like, last time she was aged, which is a week ago. Um, I, I'm assuming I, mu I must be entirely wrong then. I just uh, I've totally messed up messed up the number. Or she messed up the number. It's one of the two of them. Um, but, yeah, two, two that I have an obligation to go for. Good start. Definitely going to continue. Okay. I just think that... Did she say she's hopefully going to continue? I talked over that, but sorry. That are just like obligated, but I'm definitely going to continue. Oh, definitely, okay. I just think Never mind. That instead of doing it weekly, I'm going to do every other week because oh. it has been. <laughs> I went back and I was like, oh, actually, no, I take that back. That's a good thing. She says she's definitely going to continue. And the next line is like, yeah, but I'm going to like, I'm going to scale it back. I'm going to start scaling it back. It's like, oh God, that's a bad, that's a bad old sign there. That's a bad old sign there. Extremely pricey. Very well, pricey. Yeah. My insurance does not cover this okay. therapist, but that's okay. So I have been. Okay, you guys know I'm not American, even though some people like to say say that I pretend to be Irish. If I did, I'd have a much broader accent, but uh, <laughs> I'd, I'd have a, a murder she wrote accent. It's like, oh, Talora Lai, oh, Amberlynn Reed, oh, up, up the Begora Stone to you. Some bullshit like that. But um, I don't really know how American insurance works, if I'm being honest with you. But the way she says it, for this... Uh, psychologist does that mean like if she had picked other ones she would have got covered with her insurance which seems weird because like I, I don't know why she just wouldn't pick another one then if she's worried about money you know especially if it was if it's going to start becoming an issue it was especially weird because she's like budget lane apparently she's saving lots more money on takers because she does she doesn't do takeouts anymore guys she's off takeouts she has only had two in the last month and apparently it's been amazing but previously you used to get them two to three times a day like surely you should be saving a lot of money. A lot, a lot of money. If you're doing that. So a bit suspicious. I hear Goober somewhere. Oh, there she is. She heard her, her name. She heard her name. I heard her somewhere in the distance there. But she should be saving a lot of money. So it seems weird that suddenly money's an issue. When she was like gloating to people that she could pretty much afford weight loss surgery easily if she wanted to. Pretty, for the lack of a better word, excited um, for okay. my last few therapy appointments. But today I just like literally do not want to talk at all. So, Hiya. ugh, I'm dreading it hard, Ooh. but I know that one She's excited, but she's also can't be arsed and is dreading it. <laughs> she, she has conflicting emotions, which is also not a good sign. I wonder if we get the, the, the last two out. Do you think she's going to continue it on? I think she probably will claim that she's continuing it on, but I'm not sure if she actually will be continuing it on. Because there's a, there's a big problem with people like her, who generally have like high opinions themselves, 
Some say narcissistic. <laughs> would you say narcissistic? She would say narcissistic. I'm not using such loaded language, guys. But it's an issue with people like that who do think... I actually, I know, I know me, I know me best. I know me best, better than any professional or anything like that. Just like she was claiming, oh, my PTSD levels, they're already going down. If Amber's starting to worry about money, I already imagine she's going to be like, you know what, I've got this sorted. I know how to deal with this now. I know how to deal with this now. I'm already improved. I don't, do, do I need to spend an extra couple hundred dollars a month for this? A couple, I don't know, maybe a thousand dollars. Who knows? Like some psychologists can be very expensive. Maybe in her head, she's just like, I don't need this anymore. I've got this. And she'll just tell us, oh, yeah, I'm still going to that psychologist, guys. Oh, yeah, 100%. I'm still going to take along. Go to that psychologist. Oh, yeah, I've got a sorted, guys. 100%. I'm, I'm doing so well. But she just doesn't because she thinks she can then treat herself. And that is, you know, if this whole thing is real to start with. And I imagine she will then go downhill again because you generally, like, you can, you can learn something once, but it doesn't stick with you. You kind of need to keep learning it over and over and over again. Once it's over, I'm just going to feel a million times now. better. So I just wish I can snap my finger and therapy can be done. Uh -huh. Kind of like this. I knew she was going to do that transition. I, 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 I started moving across. I knew that transition was coming. I was about to cringe so hard. <laughs> She's such a quirky girl. It's... I don't know, it's not filling me with hope now that she's like, guys, I'm definitely going to keep going. I'm definitely going to keep going with the therapy. But I'm going to, you know, I'm scaling it back. I'm going to scale it back once every two weeks now. You know, money is suddenly, suddenly an issue here. Um, but also, I wish I could just click my fingers and be done with therapy. Because, oh, 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 I just can't have you bothered. I was like, That's, none of that makes me feel confident that this is actually going to happen here. Okay, so therapy is now complete. Uh, Fantastic. Fantastic. listening to music. I don't want to get copyrighted. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I can't. Um, this looks blurry. Why would you... God, so he's saying we're going to fucking hyperspace towards her tits. Um, I, I, why I say it so many times? Why would you start this? Like, oh, I'm filming here. I'll put in Feline's there, listening to music. I don't know. Can, should, can you guys even hear her? It's like, why didn't you just go to a different room? You've done that before. But like, that, admittedly, that did lead to people, including myself, speculating because it seemed like they were like arguing a wee bit when like Feline like shouted in, ask her what was up because she heard her talk and she goes, "I'm vlogging," like really annoyed, and then tried to act like oh, "Love you" at the end though, like but she was very clearly annoyed. Like, why would you film me? Why don't you just film in your bedroom? I've, I say this so often with Amberlynn. Why do you start the video here? And now it's like, oh, the, the camera's blurry. It's like, that. Wh why not? Especially with the bit that came before. Why don't you go to another room? Clean your camera and then start the vlog fresh. Oh, oh Jesus fuck. It's a fix. Yes, it looks. You jump cut to this bit, but you wouldn't cut out the rest. Okay. It's not even like she's eight minutes and one second over to get the mid roll out. She has plenty of fucking spare room. She didn't need that fucking like 10 second nonsense. There. Therapy went good. Especially because like the audio, like I'm not sure how loud it was for you guys, but uh, the audio was also horrifying. My face is a little red because I'm having like a tooth problem, so I have to go to the dentist. Um, I don't know, like Girl. you could take care of your teeth, and I could still just say, you know what, I don't agree with your. Okay, hello, speaker. That's a good point. Blah, 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 blah. Does she take care of her teeth? Isn't she the Isn't she the girl who said that she can't like chew bread without getting a toothache? Isn't she that girl? I was wondering because like I, I can't remember who it was, but it, maybe apathetic facts, maybe something like that. A video popped up single like a decade of pain, and it was like four screenshots of her holding her her mouth like she just did there and it's implied that she's had this toothache in the same area for 10 years and just doing nothing about it this doesn't make sense because she's the she's the one who claims that the potato incident was partially caused by her not chewing much because chewing is painful for her i was like i look after my teeth it's like well you clearly don't if you nearly died because of tooth related issues and you haven't already been to the dentist uh, it's I don't know. It seems weird. It seems weird. I, I know her story is like, oh, my teeth are only sensitive recently, despite, you know, that person showing a decade's worth of, of screenshots, apparently. Because after I got my hysterectomy, I was too careful with my teeth and brushed them too much. It's like, okay, okay, cool. You can't accept any fault. It's not that you were negligent with your teeth. Actually, you were too good with your teeth, and that's why you feel it's not your fault at all. Hi. Okay. It's a good squeak. Always a good squeak with your mouth i don't like your mouth so i'm just gonna hurt you okay but my appointment went good i have more homework i have to do i um, I, I, I am shocked stunned and surprised at, at that revelation are we going to hear what the point the homework is this time um because what was it last time it was just another like fill out a, a, a 80 82 pages fill out a, do a, a 10 million word essay on a bad thing that happened to you which is that what is that what it was? Is that what kicked off the whole snowflake thing? Where he started pulling out her cha her rapidly changing stories about her, her molestation? Where she kept changing. It's like, oh, well, see, the thing is, I, I was... you. What is your butt doing? Sir, what's that butt do? What? 
Why are you staring at me now? Is it, he keeps just like ass blasting the fucking uh, the microphone. I'm not sure if you guys can hear him ruffling against it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, you're awkward. You're awkward. Um, so I think that's what the last essay was on. It was like her... But yeah, I think I think anyone who watches me, especially my main channel, know, know my opinion. I... Uh, it's always awkward when it's like childhood abuse because, you know, we were, none, none, none of us are there. And it's why a lot of people go for the childhood abuse, uh, uh, right, right. I've, I've talked about this before, I'm sure in a, in a previous video. The One of the reasons why you go for childhood abuse as opposed to recent abuse is because like she did with like Kaz, um, Casey at the time, uh, where she goes like, oh, Casey, you know, beat me up and they, they fucking grip me and everything like that, guys. Oh, it's, it's terrible. But that was only a couple of years before that. So Kaz was able to come on and go like, oh, actually, that didn't fucking happen. Uh, Amber was actually the one who did all that to me. Because they heard about it. And they were able to come and counter her. So that's why she won't, like, pick something recent to make a big trauma about herself. Or something going on right now, like the potato thing. Because people will laugh at her because people don't like her. And people can go like, oh, that's stupid. That doesn't make sense. Blah, 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 blah. She had to think of, like, a really big one that's happening right now to get sympathy back but when she goes like oh well what 25 years ago mm -hmm, 25 years ago this happened and it's like well there's no evidence there's no evidence of it happening there's no evidence of the contrary so uh you kind of just have to go with your gut then if you believe her or not and that puts you in an awkward situation because you could look like a bad person for doing it. That's why a lot of people who are like this, who are manipulated, generally like to suddenly allude to stuff happening so long ago that you can never prove them wrong. And that's kind of where I feel with Amber Lynn. Do I think something bad happened to her in her life? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, you, you don't get taken into foster care for nothing, but it, it doesn't mean it has to be a sexual nature. You know, it could easy. What? Okay, cool. I think he, th he says like this is a loaded hot topic, Dad. Maybe just maybe just leave this one out. So I'll, I'll wrap it up quickly when I say I just I think something probably did happen to her in the past, but when people change stories, I I, I immediately just start disregarding everything they say. And it's like, well, too bad. You're now proving yourself to be an un un unreliable narrator of your own existence. Uh huh. Yeah. Have I? Have I? Is Quaker? Is that good? He's happy. He's lying down now. We're good. We're gonna move on. A lot. It's a, a lot. lot. It's a lot. <laughs> I feel like it it's is just a lot. A lot. A lot. But a lot. You know what? It's fine. I, I got to do the work. I'm going to do the work. See, when I say things like I should have done this sooner, it's because every time I've gone to therapy, it's so surface level. Like I still find myself just like being surface level. Uh -huh. And the last therapist I had, I talked very highly of her because I loved her. No, you didn't. You shit all over her once you left her. <laughs> you shit all over her when you left her. She, you, she does another thing. I, I hate doing like, they all do this, guys. But they kind of all do do this. Is like, for example, Boogie. Boogie got a therapist last year. And he he acted like it was the first therapist he had had like, in like forever. But he also acted like it was like he just left the therapist and got a brand new therapist. He kind of points back and forth between the two of them. But it's... Every time they get a new therapist, that therapist is the greatest therapist who's ever existed. All their previous other therapists are dog shit and they're terrible. And then when they get ready to leave that therapist, like, oh, this therapist, does, it's, they don't work. They just don't work with me. They're not actually really that good. Oh, I really haven't grown or anything like that. Because it's, oh, it always has to be someone else's fault. And every single time they have to act, they get the we, the we don't mean hit. And they're like, oh, yeah, th you know, this one's going to work. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to I'm gonna just suddenly change my life overnight without really having to work. This therapist is going to change me. They're just going to do it for me, pretty much. And then it doesn't happen like that. And then, of course, they, they get pissy and they move on and they complain about the old one. Her saying, I was, I talked so highly of my last therapist. It's like, yeah, maybe at the start, but towards the end, you kept shitting on them. They did nothing for you and nothing had changed in your life whatsoever. And they were trying to teach you things that you didn't agree with and that was actually making you worse. So, eh. so much. Like, I, I, I love talking to her, but there was this uh -huh. really big elephant in the room. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure she thought the same thing. That's a real, that's a, that's a low, low hanging fruit there. Low hanging fruit there, boys. I'm sorry because like she was health at every size uh -huh. and she loved speaking about that she and did. it just sure. it made me feel a little bit of disconnect because Fine. that's not how i feel so with this okay. therapist it's very different because i'm I, I i remember at the time laughing about the health at every size thing because like she could be health at every size but it's, it seems weird that she's like apparently there to treat 
your like binge eating disorder, which you apparently had at the time, might have now, don't have now, maybe have now, don't have now, how dare you say I have it now, all that kind of stuff back and forth. You know, if you send me a cake, it will trigger me, it will trigger the binge monster, and I will immediately have a binge eating fit on it. It's just like, okay, sure, what a hundred percent, hundred percent, fantastic, whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry, this, her, 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 her rapidly changing story has slowly worn down my patience for it because it is just like silly at this point. But I don't think she was just like, I don't know, nah, don't lose weight, nah, don't try and lose weight. I know I'm here to treat your binge eating disorder, but I'll fuck, I, I, I don't know, have some donuts, have some donuts. You should stay fat, why not health at any size, stay fat, I don't care. It, that's how she kind of portrays it as being, but it's like, the person might be health at any size. It's like, oh, well, you can be healthy at this size, but you clearly want to lose weight, so I'll help you. She makes it sound like the, the therapist was like, oh, no, bitch, you're not losing any fucking weight. I'm telling you, you're not losing any fucking weight. You better not. And then, like, force fed her some fucking donuts during the meeting to keep her fat. Like, they, they can be health at any size, but it doesn't mean they're, like, going to force you to stay fat if you say, yeah, I know you can be healthy at any size, but I would, I would like to lose weight. I don't, it just doesn't add up. I'm allowing myself to not just do surface. I'm like going deep and. Yeah, I usually play act when I'm talking about like really serious things. It makes sense to me. She literally claimed the last thing. I, I remember her specifically saying, oh, therapy is so intense, guys. I remember specifically saying the therapy is so intense. Do you remember that too? Do you? You do? I oh, right, right. Why are you talking of? Why are you talking of? You don't even know. You don't know. Okay. <laughs> she specifically said, it was so intense, guys. But now it's surface level. It's surface level nothing. It didn't do anything for her. It's how, how is this you talking highly of her? You know, it's uh -huh. like, I have said, I wish I would have taken advantage of this in the past. But then it's like, everything happens for a reason. And it's like, if I would have done this in the past, maybe I would have never met this therapist. And this therapist has helped me in ways that I... Your, your current hot topic therapist. Like... I'm sorry, I'm sure other therapists could have helped you. I'm sure the last one was trying to help you. I'm sure the last one probably could have helped you if you actually listened to them. This is so stupid. I wonder what's going to happen the next time she gets a new therapist. Are we going to have the same thing again? Like, I actually don't. The last one really didn't help me at all. He just talked to me about stuff. Uh, I, I, just, I just don't know how long this is going to last. It just seems all fucking silly. I really didn't think it was possible, so I'm just like really grateful. Okay. We have oh, a holly. Yeah. A holly from the good old Amazon. So I Who are you shouting at? Me. I know you're shouting at me. Oh, don't charge at me. You're a goof. You're a goof. Oh, oh my God. Thank God we've got... It's going to be another maxi dress, isn't it? It's going to be another maxi dress. I wasn't even looking at the screen there because I was talking to Goober. This is going to be another maxi dress. I'm loving these dresses. Oh, there it is. So it's a maxi dress. I got another one. I'm not a floral girl. I do have some floral. There's floral right there. Why are you lying to me, though? I have heard her say she is not a floral girl so many times when opening these fucking dresses. Like every, every clothing haul I've seen has included at least something floral. And she goes, I'm not really a floral girl. I don't really buy floral stuff. And it's like, bro, you, you've said that so many times now and you're literally holding a floral dress whilst wearing floral pattern. <laughs> can we just, can we just not? This is silly. Things. This is oh, oh, rip. Rip and pepperoni. Dropped her. Yeah, this is you did. I kind of want to see her wearing it, though. I kind of want to see it. Because like, it's weird that she does all these, like, clothing hauls and then doesn't put them on. Like, she, she like, copies other vloggers. Why don't you copy those vloggers who do their clothing hauls and they show, I'm getting this. And then they show them in it, you know? Like, isn't that... Because I don't watch vlogs. You all know that. I don't watch vlogs. That kind of makes sense for a vlog, though, right? That you do that? That you did in that pattern? Yeah. Off-white. Who are you shouting at um, now? Online, it looks more white, but that's okay. It looks yellow. With some dark floral, so... It looks a bit like piss stand. Oh, there you go. That's a good old face. I thought this was cute. And then we have uh, a box. Yeah. I don't know why they don't just ship it all together because... I, I, I don't know why for these hauls, you like are happy to rip them open like a caveman, like trying to get the fucking the heart out of a rib cage. <laughs> but like for your PO box things, you're like, guys, I have to open them all in advance. And it's like entirely because she like got caught out with that fucking nonsense that was like, um, was it the tampons or the... Or, or was it the it was the, it was the, the mobility scooter one, which led to the cake gate one. And 100% it was because she wanted to prepare for that to give an excuse why she opened the cake gate one randomly. It's because she was doing the, I always open things ahead of time. And oops, I noticed it suddenly, guys. Oopsie, whoopsies. But here she doesn't do it. It's, it, it's a bit suspicious. That's all I'm saying. I placed the order at the same time. It is yeah, it's quite another. Oh, God, another fucking dress. Is that, are those florals? No. I thought it was like a head of a, a poppy or poppy. Are there white poppies? 
You're a girl. You should know. I don't know. Okay, you're useless. I know red ones exist. I, 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 like, duh. Everyone, everyone knows red ones exist. Do white ones exist, though? You don't even fucking know. Stop it. <laughs> Sorry. Does she not know that, like, even though she orders things off Amazon, they might be coming from different sellers? Like, not everything comes from the warehouse. That's why things come separately. Does, is she unaware of that? How, how could you be unaware of it? All she does is buy shit off Amazon. Press. Okay. It is black and white I leopard. Noticed. Oh, it's a leopard. Because I love black and white. You do see a lot of more blue beast leopards. That is... That is a recurring thing in nature. It makes them more buoyant in case they fall over the Titanic. Uh, you know, just in case, you know, um, it's survival instincts. You guys wouldn't understand Darwinism, all that malarkey. Uh, yeah, you guys are uneducated. Uh, Amber's going to teach us the way. So I thought it would be yep. cute. I and they're just so disagree. comfortable. So. And then I got this, because I have a lot of dandruff. So okay. I got this, like, shampoo, scalp. Isn't that literally just a cap brush? <laughs> Isn't that literally a cap brush? I always find it weird anytime she leans anywhere, her cleavage somehow like forms all the way up to her fucking apple. Uh, fuck I was about to say Adam's apple. Throat. Her up to her throat. Massager thing, but it's it, for people with dandruff. So when I wash my hair, I like, get really up in there. So I'm excited. Oh, <laughs> I stopped that because I was like, is that my car? <laughs> my car doesn't even sound like that though. Like, okay, uh, that's in her world. Okay, <laughs> then they stopped that for me to listen there. Because <laughs> everything's kind of muffled because I'm listening to his, uh, the headphones. Okay. I need to give that a try. Someone's car alarm's going off. Yeah, I noticed. Last package here is... This is what I, oh my God. I think she hates her audience. Like she's so unprofessional. She is so unprofessional. Could you not have waited five minutes for the dude's car alarm to stop going off? <laughs> Instead, she just keeps going. It's like, oh, there's a car alarm going off. And then she just keeps going and unpacking stuff when you hear rah, 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 in the back, right? <laughs> could you, could, could, are those fucking balloons? I only just looked at those. <sighs> this is going to be fucking stupid, isn't it? Oh, okay. Good work. You distracted me from the, the, the unprofessionalism of your car alarm antics. Fantastic. It's fucking roll. A bunch of balloons. I noticed. <laughs> because Feline and I, we like to play volleyball in the house. Okay. So we wanted to okay. take balloons. Okay. Yeah. I, I I believe you. That that makes total sense. I I, I bet you do. You look like a, a, a sporting fitness queen. So, yeah. I'm about to yeah. blow up a balloon. Is okay. there a pink one? Yes. Is there a pink one? Guys, I'm a girly girl. I want a pink one. Fucking. Oh, she's so crazy. She really thinks she's like really girly, doesn't she? Like, I, I just, she just doesn't. She just isn't. I'm sorry. Like, this is just coming from me. I don't think she's like a, a dainty little queen. She doesn't really come across as overly girly to me. I want a white one because I like white bitches. I'm. <laughs> okay. Glad to hear that, Flame. Thank you for being a part of the show today i guess bro i wonder what Flynn's opinion is of a rapidly changing um rapidly changing stories of molestation uh Flynn probably doesn't give a shit plain Flynn probably does not give a shit amber is like a paycheck to her more than likely i i i don't know i just i, I just don't imagine she actually gives any form of fuck okay <laughs> uh-huh let's see if we do it the quickest oh yay okay Competition, Lynn, let's fucking go. My money is on wifey because she's got, I don't know, <laughs> she's got a lot to contest with. She's got to take a big old breath. She, do you know what? Actually, I wonder if Brie, this is, this is going to sound fucking stupid, guys, because I was about to say, she's got a lot of weight on her chest, which probably isn't going to help her. But then I was like, well, actually, she's exhaling into the balloon. So surely the weight should help, like, <laughs> push her chest in faster. That don't even make sense. That don't even fucking make sense at all. Like, maybe uh, maybe she has, like, a really bad sucking bar, a really good blowing bar, because it's just the added weight. That's so fucking stupid. One, two, uh. three. <laughs> okay. I don't know why that made me laugh. What was that? I don't know, but it tickled my lip before. Ew, why is there something dusty in there? You're so dainty and quirky and... Yeah, okay. What, what's with this toddler shit? Oh, are we back to the age fucking play again? Oh, we are kind of back to the age play, aren't we? Now we're doing like balloon blowing up challenges to play balloon volleyball in the house. But could you just not do some fucking steps? Just admit I won. Yeah, uh -huh. that was fast. <laughs> 
What's like the perfect size to play volleyball? That's gonna pop, babe. It has the little oh my God. nipple part happening. Does that mean it's gonna oh. pop? Wait, now I'm scared. Oh my god, this is magic. This is magic, you know, guys. I'm, I'm keeping a positive attitude here. It's magic. It's so good so far. Um, I just realized we're like f five minutes in. We're not even halfway through here, which is depressing as all shit because we're like 20 minutes into this recording. But I've had a lot to talk about, actually, it seems. I'm, just, I'm happy enough for that. I'm happy enough for that. But like, we, we, we haven't had... It's going to be what I said earlier on. It's going to be like the last like 30 seconds. Of being, people are accusing me of stuff and that's weird. And then she's going to end the video. <laughs> Okay. She's gonna try and make her pop now, isn't she, for drama? I think that's perfect. There you go. Uh huh. Wait, baby. Oh, what, baby? <laughs> Can you tie this for me? Because I feel incapable. Oh my baby. god. <laughs> that just—I don't know. That just feels troll baby. There's a uh, main guy. Like, uh, people fucking know already. There's a guy talking about my main channel called Boogie. Um, he. When he gets in drama, when he gets in drama and people really start going after him, he has a couple of ways to try and deflect criticism of himself. Sometimes he will just like, like suicide bait, sometimes he'll just sit and scream at the person incoherently. But there is one thing he does in particular, which I always find most interesting, is when he tries to humiliate himself. He's like, I don't know, like a fucking skunk who shits himself to try and get people to go, ugh, and they leave him alone. They don't want to fucking go near him. He does that a lot. Where, like, at one point during a call where people were, like, criticizing him for his, like, he, he had uh, dealings with a shitty mental health group uh, when he's, like, the, a super mental health addict for the kids, but he wasn't, like, he didn't look into the sponsorship at all, and he was being really lax and really lazy with everything like that. Um, suddenly, he came out and was, like, talking about how he was, like, a gay furry who liked getting pegged, like, out of nowhere. And all these people were like, what the fuck? And it's like a pretty right-wing, like, podcast. And they were all, like, taking the piss out of him and laughing at him. Going, oh, my God, he's a gay furry. He likes getting paid. And 100%. And they all moved on. They all forgot what they were talking about. And Boogie 100% did that to avoid the criticism. This feels like a again, where she's like, I'm incapable, guys. And she's in this weird, dainty play. It feels like she wants people to mock her and be like, oh, my God, look, she can't even tie a balloon. She's so fat and disgusting. It feels like we're, we're doing this. And especially if we watch her play, she's going to look as ridiculous as possible to try and just distract people from all the bad shit she's, um, you know, kind of been smeared with recently. I'm scared it's going to pop. I think I have a new fear of mock. Uh -huh. Oh, my God, we have to bat it with the balloon. We have to. Ugh. Does she not wear bras anymore? Like, her fucking tits. Like, one is in Bro the Bronx and one's in... Fuck, I can't remember any other New York. Um, Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> is that in the district? I don't know. One's in the Bronx, one's in Hell's Kitchen. There you go. They're fucking two different zip codes. That's what I usually say. Why didn't I say it this time? Oh, God. Um, yeah, it, it feels like she's just trying to like, mock herself. She's sitting going, I've unlocked a new fear. It feels like she's trying to distract, actually, you guys. Yeah, this is... No. She hasn't mentioned PTSD yet. Maybe it'll pop and she'll scream she has balloon PTSD from popping. I have a balloon hand. Uh-huh. Oh my god. Look at her. Oop. Go, guys. Wait, wait, okay. She's um <laughs> I just noticed the, the the fucking horns back. <laughs> the guy's car alarm's going off. Oh my god, fantastic. Good. You couldn't have just like filmed this later on. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say. Carhorn, he is my favorite supporting character in the scene because that has more personality than Feline so far. <laughs> Do this one and we'll have two going. Ready? Okay. What was that, baby? What, what is this? <laughs> oh shit. Baby, you're losing! <laughs> what is this? Like what like oh, we're oh, we're back to the age place yet again. You guys know I hated that. Oh, no, God. Well, you know what? She's getting ready to get rid of the therapy arc, which you guys know I hated. So I guess she's just replacing it with the, the being a child arc again. Thank God. You're losing. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Where are you? Okay, does the count? Okay, see, okay, I suddenly realized when I was talking about the child molestation thing uh, and the child play. A lot of people use the defense. Oh, well, the thing is she's actually age regressed because, and I think she might have used it as well. I can't remember exactly yet, but I think she did. Where they say, like, oh wait, you regress and you do like a child play stuff. This is very serious. I need to talk about this first, Goober, and then we'll have our discussion later, okay? Do you understand? Okay, she does. She understands entirely. <laughs> no, you don't. Stop it! <laughs> no. Um, where people and herself are saying, oh, well, the child's play thing is because she is regressing, because she didn't get to have a childhood, because she was more like, oh, all that kind of stuff. And there's a bit of truth to that. Um, 
she's suddenly doing the child play thing when she's getting shit on for making, well, potentially making up uh, abuse stories. So is this her like doubling down? Being, well, look, guys, I'm child, I'm child regressing again because of the molestation. Duh, guys. I, I feel like that's what she's doing here. It's a bit weird, bit too time specific. I don't, I don't like it. It feels very manipulative and very dodgy. Oh, fantastic. Oh my God, here we go. I'm all out of sorts. Oh, you are, you oh, are. Fun stuff. You lasted like 20 seconds. Beautiful. So, what Feline and I shit? made Oop Black. This came out like a fucking jump scare. Where the fuck did this come from? Oh, good. what is this? Okay. Cracker. It's kind of gross. I don't know what this is, but it's kind of gross. That was she thinks it's gross Oop Black. too. Oop Black. It's literally just water and cornstarch. Uh -huh. And when you touch it, it feels okay. hard, but then it's not. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, so pressure makes it solidify. Okay, that, ma that makes sense, I guess. It's like, if you like slowly press yourself into water, it's like, we're going to do a Dune reference now because I haven't had a sci-fi reference in a while. It's like the slow blade penetrates, isn't that it? Like if, you, like, if you push your hand like slowly into water, it goes in really easily. But if you slap water, it goes in a lot harder because of the surface tension of it. And it, the surface tension against your physical force actually creates a barrier. Um, that is like the most layman's fucking term I could possibly say for that. Like, okay, so, so don't come for me. It's like what people say, like, you know, it's like, oh, well, if I fall out of a plane and land in water, it's fine because I'm just landing in water. But it's like, no, because of the force actually you're falling with in the second you hit it, because of the surface tension, you may as well be hitting like fucking concrete, you know? Um, so yeah, it's, it's not really, there's not really that unusual a concept, is it? It is so cool. Like, oh, this is, and then it just melts. This is seriously just. Child's play. This is the fucking slime shit again. This is just the slime shit again. We've had slime every episode for the past three episodes. Could we have the PGBs? What the fuck it was? The two hundred fifty dollar one that she got here in her PO box, the company center or some bullshit like that. And then we had the one she got from Barnes and Noble last week when she was getting her mom that gift. But this is three slime in a row now. It's kind of weird. It's kind of it's kind of weird. We're going full like childishness suddenly. It's literally just cornstarch on water. If you have kids, uh -huh. you'll love this. <laughs> if you have kids, you'll love this. You don't like me, because I'm a child. Hashtag age regression. You're, you're being more than a wee bit on the nose here. It's us as adults, we uh, are having so much fun. And like when you hit it from up top, it it's literally not, hard as a rock. It literally doesn't look at like any fun. Like I, I don't even get it. I also don't get the appeal of slime or anything like that. Like Lego, I can kind of get. Like at least it's like... I'm not going to say creative because generally you're just following a plan. But I build little Gundams and Gunpla and stuff like that. I build Zoids. Like, I get it. I get it. I build Warhammer. Like, you, you're building something, you know, and you're just following a plan. So, but, I, you know, so there's a little bit of fun there. At least you end up with a product in, at the end of it. This is just like, what, what, are, you, like, what are you doing? Like, what, what, is, what is this? You're just touching goo and then letting it fall into the pole again and then picking it up again. It's like, oh, fantastic. But then when you put your hands like this, you sink down. Uh-huh, yeah. It is mind-blowing. No, it's not. We were playing with the slime. Oh, my God. The fucking slime is here. The slime is actually here, guys. Holy shit. That a subscriber sent. And then... So what? Selene's like, oh, my God, have you ever played... Oh, you messed up your story there. You said it was the company sent you. It was the, it was the company sent you. Because I remember specifically saying, this feels like an advert. Because she suddenly got it and it was from like the company had sent it. Uh, and she then did that thing where she like showed it off. But then the next episode came back and then went through each individual. And described them and talked about their names and what they smelt like. And what they looked like. And then played with them on camera for like two minutes. And I was just sitting like, what the fuck is this? I didn't show you it because it was so boring. Like, But I was like, this just feels like an advert. It feels like the company was like, we, you know, we, we're paying you potentially. To, to advertise this for us. And you pretty much just showed it and said, oh, here it is. This is cool. Look at it, guys. It's really cool. And then it just moved on. Like, because like someone told me, it's like, I don't, you know, who knows? They could be wrong. But someone said it was like $200 for that fucking box. I don't think a subscriber would send her $200 worth of specialist slime for a laugh. But, you know, they could be wrong. Maybe it's only worth like $10. Who, who fucking knows? But it, it's for me, just the way everything played out, it seemed like an advert. So now it's suddenly a subscriber sent it to her. All right. All right there, pop. With Oop Blanc. <laughs> what is it? Oop Blanc. Oop Blanc. Uh, I can't and I was remember like, no. words. Oh. oh my god. Wow. So fun, babe. Oh, it looks, it looks, it looks so fun. Oh god, who, who, who wants to go see Guardians of the Galaxy three? Uh, all right, let's play with some fucking um, Oop Blubs. 
<laughs> oh, look, they're in love, I guess. We're children. Ah. Maybe! Oh my god, guys, age play. Oh my god, like I'm Diddy Queen next day. So I'm about to have some leftovers. I made this Fun delicious stuff. vodka sauce. Uh, Feline had this <laughs> earlier. That, I, I, and no one tidied it up? Okay, 100%. I thought you were I, I, a cleaning queen. That feels like troll as well. She's just leaving that out there so people can suspect it. So I bet you aren't just eating this. I bet you had this already. And this is your fucking seconds. I bet I, I bet she left out for that reason. Like I said, this whole video seems like distraction and trying to like make excuses and get away from like the, the actual issue. So that's that is what I feel in here, boys. Um, but I made this delicious vodka sauce Ugh. pasta last night. How does it look so moist and yet so dry at the same time? That really seems hard to do also isn't this like the the vodka sauce pasta that zachary michael made and he said it was dog shit because despite everything it didn't actually taste like anything so good there's like i put some onions i put some bell pepper oh, oh. this bell pepper and asiago chicken sausage oh. and it's so good so it's I'm basically like five year three a day about to have that right now so it is the next day and i'm wearing my new oh ugh. maxi dress i know i said i wanted to see her in that earlier on but i'm i'm somewhat underwhelmed it's it just doesn't look very good uh, to put it very bluntly, I, I think it's a bit too close to her skin tone. Yes. Uh, the type of pasta I used was actually whole grain. Uh huh. Well, so, that's I'm oh no. Have a little bit of that, and I'll oh. put it in the microwave. She left like one spoonful left in there because she didn't want to empty it because then she'd get criticized. Uh, like, com come on, come on. Oh my gosh, yeah. it smells and looks delish. I've definitely been. That, that's definitely all you're all you're eating for that. Three pound weight loss in a month. That's that's def that's definitely your health and fitness regime. I, I believe you. This is definitely your 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 lunch and nothing else. Cool. Trying to cook a lot more, obviously. Yep. So what Feline and I do which, is every other night. Which is which is why it's weird that you're apparently having money issues now when you should be saving literally thousands of dollars per month on on, on your takeouts. She cooks like tonight is her turn, so we just go back and forth. So I'm sure you guys have noticed I have been. Taking a little bit of oh, a break. Here we go. From YouTube. Yeah. It was a break that I honestly didn't even realize I needed until okay. it was happening. So that's why I stopped my uploading schedule. Uh huh. And I don't really know what my schedule is going to be like in the future, to be honest. Why did you have that? For, for, for our Dainty Queen, who always like looks after everything and everything's always tidy because she's addicted to tidying, why is there like curling irons and all lying out? When, like, her hair is, like, <laughs> clearly has not been straightened. Did I say curling irons? I don't know the difference. I'm a guy. I'm sorry. I have short hair. Sometimes I shave my head. I have no idea what curling irons and straight irons do. I don't know if they're called straight irons. I don't... Stop it. Stop bullying me. I'm kind of just filming a little bit here and there. And then we'll see how I feel. Because for months now, I've just been oh, filming like or your... editing every single day. Uh -huh. I've been on Instagram, keeping up my online appearance, which is part of my job. <laughs> and I just... Oh my god, no! Oh, I, I get in fights with people on Instagram. It's literally part of my job, guys. She makes it sound like she's like, oh, I've been clocking in 9 to 5 every single day for the past two years. And oh, it's... It's worn me down. It's like, bro, you put out videos that are 10 minutes long once every two days. Like, come on. Like, what is this? Like, one segment, like, straight afterwards, you just open some stuff, and then you blow up the balloon. So this is, like, one segment. And then you play with some oobleck. Um, and then the next day, you ate some pasta. <laughs> I know you're tidying your bathroom whilst talking. Like, bro, can we not? Can we not do this? I just feel... Like it's time. I'm so worn out, guys. So oh. by the time you guys see this, obviously my break um, yeah. isn't happening anymore. But uh -huh. for now, it is. So I am not a tea girly at all, but okay. I am making a tea for my baby. I feel like, like I said, this just feels like she is trying to humiliate herself and to like distract people so people will laugh at her for other things and forget about you know the the, the fucking molestation ship. Uh, that just feels like. That just feels like what she's going for here. And now she's showing her how to use a little fucking oomph majigger thing here to t pick up a teapot, like tea, sorry, like a teacup. It feels a bit too sus for me. And I'm too short. Okay. So I got to use this guy. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I, w I was about to say, 
you, you could have just stood on a stool. And then I realized that that stool would have had to be crafted from fucking vibranium from Wakanda itself to, to be able to withstand that. So do you know what? She's got me there. She does need a little extendo arm. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-huh. So the okay. tea I am making her is this Tazo passion tea. It's, I don't, I'm going to argue you're not really making tea. You, you're putting like a sachet into this and then pouring water on it. And then after the allotted amount of time, you're taking the sachet out. I, it's a bit of a stretch to say I'm making tea. <laughs> this is about to go off. I noticed. It's squeaking. Okay. Let's not. Oh, there we go. <laughs> At the end of the night, she likes to have some hot... Did you put any water in that kettle? Like, that is a hell of a fucking tilt to try and start pouring. Tea. Today was actually okay. the first time I ordered takeout in a long time. I got a Diet Coke oh, no. from Chick-fil-A. I don't know. It didn't hit like I thought it was going to. Is she doing this again where she's like, guys, I got a takeout. I ordered just a fountain drink. Are we doing this? This is entirely to try and distract. This is silly. This is cringe. Okay, are we, are we really doing this? The Chick-fil-A thing as well. Part of me feels a wee bit like that's also to distract. Because I know every time she orders from Chick-fil-A, people bring up the whole issues with the company and the LGBT community. Especially when this was released. Like, was this released like the first day of Pride? And she's, oh, maybe I, maybe she's doing that deliberately. That feels trolling. That feels trolling. Like she's trying to get away from this. She's just trying to distract. I think it's because just I prefer Diet Pepsi. Then. Like in the cans, caffeine. -free. Oh yeah, I also, I, I, I find it so funny when people act. Do you prefer, no, it's just like, I prefer, see, I prefer a Diet Pepsi actually in a can, guys. When earlier she was talking about how fountain drinks hit different, and that's why she's willing to spend like $16 to get one delivered to her house. What are we doing here? I also hate this when people do this because they do it all the time where they act like that if they don't eat a takeaway for a week or they don't have a soda for a fucking week, they'll be like, oh, that doesn't taste right anymore. Guys, I've literally moved on from this. My taste buds have evolved in just a week to no longer like this anymore. I, I see it happen a lot and then the person just falls back into bad habits again straight after. So. Okay. Alrighty, now we're gonna let her rest. Would you like to put any water in that cup of tea? I was so right when I said she didn't fill that kettle. Oh, this is so clear. She doesn't actually ever do this. So she had no idea how much water to actually put in that kettle. There's so little water there. Oh my God. There's so, the, the Felino, the, or did she specify? Look, Amber, I only want one mouthful, okay? One mouth, no more than that. One, one mouthful. If it's more than one mouthful, I will be upset. <laughs> so, and then she will drink it. You're so it. bad. Oh, the next day. So I just... Oh, it's, it's just so hard for her to vlog every day, guys. Like, guys, you're expecting too much from her. She's going to have to change up her entire schedule because it's just too much. That entire day, guys, she literally had to show herself spooning out some pasta that took 30 seconds. Then she said that she wasn't going to do it so much because her, her, her she was busy because her, she's been working too hard. And then she showed herself make some tea. How could you expect her to do more than that in a day? Guys, you're asking too much here. There's only 24 minutes in a day. That's right, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah, it's 24 minutes per day, you know? Just woke up. I'm about to get in oh, the shower. Oh, he's alive. Okay. And there's this little boy. Oh, proof of life. He's alive. Closet. He's cute. He's, he's so cute. sweet. I hear her voice. My favorite part of the day, opening up the blinds. Is open up the blinds. The check of my Uber Eats driver has shown up yet. <laughs> does, does she come across as a as a as a curtain twitcher to you guys? That she's sitting there. I was like, you know, it's like the, your driver's on the way. He pops up at the top of the Just Eat app, and she's like just peering out the window the whole time. Like, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where, where's my Pokeball? Where's my fucking Pokeball? <laughs> Where, where's my seafood broil with potatoes? <laughs> Today is nothing uh, but blue skies. Yep. Hello. <laughs> oh. We're in my closet. I'm actually just putting away. I'm glad that you asked, could I have a plaster that goes with my costume? Uh, why did I say costume? She's not a superhero, but she's looking bigger. Her face, not so much, like, but her, her belly area is looking, is looking a wee bit bigger. What's the matter? You don't even know what the matter is. What's the matter? Are you not enjoying this video? Why are you stalking around me? Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay, sure, I want to believe, I believe you. I'm you good girl. Um, did some laundry, so I'm putting away some of my Fantastic. underwear. I usually fold them in half twice <laughs> and then roll them. Uh -huh. And now she's doing the underwear thing. Like this is this is just distraction. She's doing the oh guys, look, see my underwear again. Oh, it's this is this is 
It's embarrassing. Can we just can we just get to the point where you end the vlog without talking about the fucking mm -hmm. issue? Because you're you're I'm going on a break here, guys. I was on a wee break here. It was like oh, because I was just tired from working so hard. Mm -hmm. No mention of it. So we've already gone past that segment. We can just finish up here, I guess. And I just keep them in this little yeah. Spot I here. literally don't care about your underwear. Thanks. But I've been getting uh, actually quite a few messages on Instagram I... now asking if I'm okay and why I had to go to the doctor that one day. I doubt it. Normally you. Oh, I didn't know she went to the doctor. I did. Oh God, no. I didn't know she'd gone to the doctor because I don't follow Instagram. Like I, I've said, uh, oh God, is she doing a is she doing a health scare arc again? Oh God, she's doing a health scare arc. I'm sure everyone is sick of this shit by now. This happens so often in our our plus size lol kai communities because they always. Fuck up, and then they always do a health scare arc. Oh, it's fucking cringe. Does everyone remember Foodie Beauty's one? She's like, guys, I'm not breathing right. Oh my god, guys, I'm not breathing. I don't think I'm breathing right. I think I could go to A and E, and then she stopped at fucking Starbucks and had a Starbucks piece on the way to A and E because she said she wasn't feeling well. And that was around the time Sam's Bar Lounge is going to be dropping the expose video on her, so she took herself to A and E but stopped to get Starbucks first. It was the stupidest shit I've ever fucking seen would share oh. why like why didn't you beautiful you know, this time i don't think people um, care i wasn't really sure i wanted to talk about it but unfortunately uh -huh. i started having that lung issue again and oh it turns God. out i have acute pneumonia so i had uh -huh. to go pick up antibiotics so i've been on those for a little bit i'm actually about to take my last one and the antibiotics she's only been gone for like a week and this this is the third or fourth third third day this is the third day of the vlog and she's only been gone like a week but she She's like full course of antibiotics are usually a minimum of a week. So unless it happened, like literally she found out like literally the day after her last vlog where she showed no issues, no breathing issues or anything like that. I'm not buying this at all. A bit much. Antibiotics, like they are helping. Um, I still feel the issue with my lung a little bit. Uh -huh. um, I'm not sure. That's weird because in the first day of this vlog, you were blowing up a balloon and you didn't seem breathless. You didn't seem out of breath. And that would have been the first day of, of this vlog, which would have been three days, four days after your break, maybe. That seems... Why would you... Show, I, it's Like I said, this feels like distracting. She wants people to think of conspiracy theories because now we've got this bullshit health scare arc, but like... She started off by randomly buying balloons and showing her blowing up balloons, using her lungs for like the first time in 20 fucking years. This feels too suspicious. It feels like she wants people to have a conspiracy theory here. How I got the acute pneumonia. Uh-huh. It is a little frustrating, but they told me oh, last so year. So frustrating. Oh. Um, that once you get it, it's easy to get it again. And uh. just last year was the first time I've ever had pneumonia, so... I had pneumonia last year as well, actually. Um, and I had really bad pneumonia, like really, really bad pneumonia. Um, I was never told, oh, well, once you get it the first time, really easy to get it again. I was not told that. Mine was, like I said, mine was really serious pneumonia. Um, so I feel like they would have told me that if that's a thing. Maybe it is a thing. Maybe it is a thing. I I, I don't buy it. I, I feel like this is all, like, this is all manipulation here. Now I'm just, you know, at like a higher risk uh -huh. for getting it. And why? Why would you doctor, be? My doctor, who I love, uh -huh. and I got put on antibiotics. I got put on two of them. And yeah. Do people usually get put on like two antibiotics at the same time? Like when I was in hospital, I think maybe I was on two antibiotics at the same time. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I've, I've like anytime I've ever had it, like issues before where I've needed like an antibiotic I've never been like prescribed to to take home with me I've never been like prescribed like that could be wrong but uh usually because like usually they just go for one to target that thing specifically because putting a two I think wouldn't they clash I, I'm not 100% sure but uh I don't know story story doesn't add up story really does not add up to me at all I've had to take them for a week uh -huh. I actually have to go get a couple more tests done for a weight loss surgery because oh, in yeah. a couple weeks I'm actually going to be done with my 12 therapy sessions so that's like super so, super exciting what, so just making why do you need tests on now if you're right if you're finish your therapy sessions in two weeks because you said on your 12th session you will be reevaluated to see if you can progress or if you need to do more that's what that's what she claimed so why are you doing extra tests now before your therapy's finished because the person could say no and turn you down and then the, the test would have been totally wasted yeah. because you might have to do another 12 sessions and have another like three or four month wait so then you just need to do the test again so it seems a wee bit 
Seems that it doesn't make sense to me, bros. A lot of progress where it needs to be. Yeah. So I just wanted to give you all that update because I know people thank are worried thank you. about I'm the doctor so thing. But so I'm feeling fine. It's just my only symptom is like, it's like when I breathe in, uh -huh. um, my lung like... I love she's <gasps> trying to breathe in. Like, are we short? <gasps> like, trying to breathe in. It's like, uh, you, you breathe in absolutely fine when you're blowing up the balloon three days ago. Like, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're not doing great here, bro. It feels like there's fluid. Honestly, that's the best way to put it. And uh, that's how like I, said, I had super su like super serious uh, pneumonia. Um, when I breathed in, I didn't feel like I had fluid. I I just didn't. I there were there was pain. That was about it. Uh, hell, I didn't even know I had pneumonia until I ended up in hospital. Um, so yeah, it, it it just happens. I took myself to the hospital, found out I had pneumonia, and I was like, oh fuck, really? Oh cool, okay. <laughs> it's not like you breathe in and you feel like a gurgling or anything like that. It's pneumonia doesn't even have to include like fluid in the lungs, from what I know, especially if it's like acute. Um, so I that I don't I don't buy this. If she feels like fluid in her lung. I I I don't get that. How acute pneumonia feels supposedly. I trust the doctors. Last time this happened. And now the doctors told her that that's how I... Okay, cool. 100%. Like I said, I, I, part of me wants to say she's so bad at this, because I feel like she is. But another part of me is like, this seems deliberate, like she's trying to distract from the whole uh, changing her story on molestation thing. I'm just going to keep saying that. I'm sure Google Senpai is going to uh, demonetize the shit out of this video for me saying it so often. But I kind of feel like I need to keep saying it at frequent points throughout this video. Because she is trying to get away from this, it seems, and I kind of want to draw attention to the fact that she has seemingly changed her story several times on uh, her molestation and also defending pedophilia. I got the antibiotics and it was better, so... Yeah, um, I just didn't really want to share it because Why? I kind of felt maybe low-key embarrassed, but I mean, it is what it is. It happened. You literally filmed yourself outside the hospital last time, um, being like, oh my god, guys, I'm just out of hospital. She had like the sticker still on her to prove she was in hospital. It was embarrassing. And then she told the story about how her IV fell out and she was bleeding everywhere and it triggered PTSD again for her. And everyone said she was lying, so she came on to show her medical records. And then for the IV falling out, she showed like a text she sent her mom being like i might lie online sometimes but i would never text my mom and lie to her so that's clear proof that it actually happened it's like fuck right off so i i'm sorry this is her being like i'm guys i'm just so nervous and shy about telling this like, bro you weren't last time you weren't last that's what time. i'm going through so sure, the only thing i can do is take the medicine and do what the doctors tell me to do and get better didn't you like not take like your medication correctly last time for your antidepressants and all? And that's why you stopped doing it. So like, it feels weird to me. All I need to do is just follow the, the medical advice. It like, would be the fucking first time for that. Uh, Kind of an okay video for her comeback, I guess. Um, For like being able to poke out and laugh at a kind of way. Obviously, it's just embarrassing that she's trying to act like she was just taking time off. Because she works too hard for us guys. She just works too, too hard for us. She answers a couple questions tonight on Instagram. Uh, and she records... Three minutes of footage per day. Too too much effort, guys. That's well, guys. Come on, you're expecting the world from our dainty queen here. Uh, yeah, absolute absolute uh, fucking nonsense. Uh, I hope she addresses this soon because it is just kind of cringe. I, I I highly doubt she will though. But uh, who knows? Maybe she'll. But yeah, that's the video, guys. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves, now. Bye bye.